1929, the USC School of Cinematic Arts has fueled and mirrored the growth of entertainment as an industry and an art form. The school offers comprehensive programs in animation and digital arts, critical studies, directing, interactive media, producing, production, and writing, all backed by a broad liberal arts education and taught by leading practitioners in each field. I said that today. Are we on TV? Hi, and welcome to CU at USC. I'm Tom Sparks, your host, and tonight we're lucky enough to have photographer to the stars, Jerry Avanom. Avanom. Thank you. <laughs> His images of supermodels and celebrities have captivated readers of magazines pretty much all over the world. And he joins us tonight on the Cardinal Couch. It's coming up next on See You at USC. <laughs> And we're back at CU at USC, your favorite college talk show. I don't think that's our tag, tagline at all. I just made that up. We're lucky enough to have Jerry Avanon on the big show, photographer to the stars. Jerry, thanks so much for coming oh, on the show. Oh, thanks for having me. It's a real pleasure. Really appreciate it. All right, now we don't normally do this, but we're going to go in chronological order with your life. Oh, wow. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, it's going back a long way, but let's do it. So your folks are from Egypt. Originally from Egypt, and they were exiled uh, from Egypt to, to Paris during the Suez Canal crisis. Now, this was before you were born. Indeed. And then... Conceived who, in Paris. Conceived so, in Paris. Born in the, born in the USA. Nice. Yeah. Sorry, I made that really creepy. <laughs> yeah, I know, it was. Then, then your I folks just, moved to Chicago because they yeah. wanted you to be a U.S. A citizen. A U.S. citizen, that's correct. Yeah. Now tell me about growing up in Chicago. Oh, uh, I, I love Chicago. Still do. Miss it. Miss it, but, you know, I love L.A. I mean, this is also where, where my work is, uh, but I've lived all over the world. Yeah. Well, you say in Chicago, you got your first camera from your pops, right? Yeah, yeah. He Do you remember what kind of camera it was? Yeah, man. He brought over from Paris with him. Uh, I don't know what year the camera was, but it was an old Exacta, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, didn't even have a meter. So I, I really had to, like, learn f-stop and shutter speed uh, and just kind of, and again, shooting chrome film back then. Yeah. So uh, my exposures weren't always right on, but, yeah, it was just, it was a cool way to learn because everything was mechanical not as it is today, which is all digital. And you can just you know, look at the back of the camera and see what you got. And I read somewhere that one of the reasons that you uh, picked up the camera for the first time, deny it if you will, is to meet beautiful ladies. Uh, why would I deny that? I think that you should not. Cameras and guitars, why do you pick them up? Girls. That's it. That's, I picked up the guitar. <laughs> you did? I should have picked up the camera. It, okay, but you picked up Guitar Hero. That's <laughs> like a whole different. It's not the same, <laughs> Not is the it? same thing, no. And is that really one of the, I mean, I guess that makes sense. You're a kid. Listen, in adolescence, it's, adolescence is, is tough enough. Yeah. Okay. And maybe not for you because you're like the T-bone. I am the T-bone. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. You're I really welcome. appreciate that. You're welcome. Uh, no, I did it to, to meet beautiful girls. And by the way, the better the pictures got, the prettier the girls got. Oh, I bet. <laughs> but I just can't imagine. I'm picturing you going up to that first girl and you're like, hey, my dad gave me a camera. <laughs> you want to come over? You know, I don't, I don't know how the first one started. All I, all I remember is that, that Calvin Klein ad of Brooke Shields, um, you know, that nothing came between her and her Calvins. Oh, yeah. And every, so that was like my angle. Right. And then okay. was that kind of the time period when that was popular? Yeah, yeah. exactly. So I'm really dating myself, aren't I? <laughs> Nobody, <laughs> nobody's doing the math. Let's keep yeah, talking. Okay, there you go. Time. Um, yeah, it, it just, you know, that was kind of uh, a segue into, you know, I, I'm actually, it was more about me getting to learn photography and I needed a beautiful girl right. to model for me. And that's how it evolved into, you know, from, from picking it up to meet girls to actually falling in love with the craft. Right. And yeah, and I say that, but you were also very adamant about studying Vogue's of the day and really- Absolutely, I poured through yourself. magazines. Yeah. I poured through magazines and uh, studied other photographers' works. And I mean, I'd look at the catch lights in the eyes and try and figure out uh, the type of lighting you're that talking, they use. You're talking to an ignoramus, the catch lights? Oh, I'm sorry, the catch lights are, uh, if you look at a photograph, you'll see a, a reflection in the eye 
and that's called a catch light. I got you. So if there's multiple catch lights, maybe it, it's a reflector, or maybe it's a, a, a parabolic shape uh, tool, mm -hmm. or a, it's an umbrella. You'll see the spines on the umbrella. So if you if you look in the eyes, you can always pretty much deduce what the photographer did. You can tell what kind of setup he Absolutely. had from the because eyes. Because the eyes are, are really mirrors of the lighting and some say the soul. Oh, wow, breaking <laughs> it down. Um, then you moved to New York. <clears throat> yeah, well, uh, that, what I did was a little unconventional. Um, so I'll, I'll moonwalk a little bit. Please do. And, uh, you know, after, after high school, I went to the School of the Art Institute of Chicago and uh, found that, you know, for me, for me, and everyone's different as craftsmen and artisans, um, structured academics wasn't really mm -hmm. just my cup of tea. Mm -hmm. And I remember sitting my dad down saying, you know, I really would like to just pack my bags and go to New York and go to the School of Hard Knocks, which is what I did. Dad loved that stuff. Yeah. Oh. How'd that go over? Well, you know, it, he was very supportive. So I was, I was very fortunate, very fortunate. And uh, I, he, he backed me up. And this was on a Tuesday. So believe it or not, I was already packed and on a plane and in New York on Thursday. Wow. Yeah. You'd made up your mind. I had. Yeah. Absolutely. And and I just did it with tenacity and definiteness of purpose. And I, I think that's the formula to any successful venture, no and matter what you do. And how did you get your first job out there? I got I literally I got off the plane, went to my cousin's apartment who were they were I, I don't th I don't think they speak to me anymore I stayed there so long <laughs> <laughs> you know? you're the couch surfer I, I man I you know they were they were so gracious in when I started out uh, in supporting me and, and letting me stay with them that I knocked on every single door and he, here's an interesting dynamic the first door I knocked on was Patrick DeMarche who was my idol and uh, had a little interview with him and he said thank you very much and that was it and uh, I started freelancing and working for different people and uh, became friends with his first assistant mm -hmm. and uh, and that's something by the way you, you as a photographer you always trust you, not so much resumes but if I'm looking for an assistant I'm gonna ask my first assistant who do you know makes sense you know because they've got their finger on the pulse of other assistants but the <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, the thing of it was, we we genuinely became friends over the uh, over the you know six months, twelve months, whatever it was. Because a year later, he called me up out of the blue. He said, "Jerry, we're going to be in Paris, uh, shooting the collections. When we come back, um, I'm going to give my notice. Do you want to get you know, my gig?" And 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 you got it. Obviously. You, did, yeah, you didn't have to ask me twice. Yeah. So yeah. So now you're an assistant to basically your mentor. My mentor and uh, my my uh, idol, if you will. And uh, it, it was a, it was an amazing experience. I got to see the world uh, with him, and worked in Paris, worked in London, and uh, just you know traveled the world and and made amazing pictures and uh, met amazing people. And it, it was a, it was an amazing journey. And then I got to take my own journey. 